Hey guys, what is going on? It is Minitop, and in this video I'm going to be showing you what I used to record with and what system I used to record with. I've gotten a lot of questions like, oh, are you still on a Mac? Do you use ScreenFlow? What do you do? All this stuff. Like, all these questions about, you know, what system I'm actually on and what I used to record with. So today I want to clarify all of this stuff for you in a really quick video. Um, if you're not interested in all this stuff, then you don't have to watch. There's not going to be any secret giveaway in this video or something like that. But for all you guys who've been asking, I hope that this answers your question. So enough with staring at a you know, blank screen or whatever. Let's go ahead and get over to my PC, and I'll show you what my PC looks like. And then I'll show you my Mac. All right, you guys. So we're now on my PC, and this is where 99% of my videos come from. I only go on my Mac when I am making Mac tutorials. So... It, just to get that straight, the Mac side of my computer is pretty much dead. Yeah, I know. I it's kind of sad, but I I'm only I'm really only on my PC, and the only time I ever go on my Mac side of my computer is when I'm doing a Minecraft installation tutorial or something that has to be on the Mac. So with that out of the way, I want to show you what I used to record with, and my tough in the Minecraft videos are recorded with. OBS and this is what it looks like. I'm actually recording with it right now So you're gonna see like inception right now, but it, yeah, this is what I record with on my PC and whoa It's like leaving trails behind. whoa. So yeah, this is what I record with on my PC I've done tutorials on this. I've done one tutorial on this So if you want to see you know what settings I use I'll have a link in the description for my OBS settings tutorial and when I'm recording my desktop which is kind of you know, I'm not I'm not using this program now, but I normally do for my tutorial videos. I use Camtasia, and I have Camtasia Studio 8 right here. And this is I mean I'm not going to give you a tutorial on this, but this is what I use to record on my PC when I'm doing a desktop tutorial or something that involves the desktop. For now, I'm not using it just because I like OBS better when I'm not I'm not going to be zooming in or or anything fancy like that. So I don't need to be using Camtasia, but when I am. This is what I use to record my desktop. And for games that I cannot record in um, like borderless mode, because if you don't know, Minecraft, I have a, a launcher that is in borderless mode. And it's called Minecraft Borders. And what it does is it plays in full screen. So you won't notice a difference, but it's not locked into full screen. So OBS can actually capture it. And I like that. So if you're wondering, you know, how do you play Minecraft in full screen and capture, then you need to download Minecraft Borders. I'll try to have a link in the description for that, but I don't know if I can find it. So if a game is locked into full screen, and if you if I could demonstrate, but you know, like say you play Battlefield 3 or something, the game is in full full screen, and OBS will not be able to capture it. It'll just look like a big black screen. And for games that like that, what I used to record with is DX Tori. And I love DX Story. It's pretty awesome. So I have all my, you know, all my stuff on here. It's pretty straightforward. Here are my settings. I just used the Lagrith Lossless codec. You can find that. And I have multi-threading, and I don't even know what this means, but I just have that on. 29.97 file output percent, 100 percent. That's it. I mean, there's nothing really fancy here. I've got my my speakers on here and my micro. This should be my microphone, but it's not. So I should probably do that. Boom. So yeah, I mean. That's pretty much it. There's nothing really fancy going on here. I just, that's what I use to record with. I have three programs, or is it four? OBS, DX Tori, and Camtasia. Yeah, three programs. Good. Three programs. They all do different things. I like all of them for what they offer, and in my opinion, these are the best programs that you can. Maybe there is a better alternative to Camtasia. I have not found one yet. And I know that there's fraps out there that could replace DX Tori, but I don't like fraps. I used to use fraps. I actually still have fraps. And I found DX Tori as an upgrade from fraps, and DX Tori is way better. So if you're using fraps, find DX Tori and use that because it's definitely way better. So OBS, it, there's XSplit out there that could be an alternative, but I definitely love this program way better than XSplit. It does all these great features, and you know it's free too. So that's what I used to record on my PC. So now I'm going to jump onto my Mac side, which I haven't been to in like a, maybe like a few months or something. And I'll show you what I used to record on when I get on my Mac. All right, guys. So I am now on the Mac side of my computer. And 
the only time I ever am on my Mac when I'm doing tutorials for my Mac. So that's pretty much it. There's nothing that you need to know. Like, I'm not secretly recording Tough in the Minecraft on my Mac. I don't even have Tough in the Minecraft World Save on my Mac. I haven't been on here in a long, long time. I should have... Actually, no. But normally when I get on here, I have like a thousand unread emails. Just because, man, it, it gets crazy. But... I figured out how to fix that. So anyway, I wanted to show you what I used to record with and which is ScreenFlow. There's nothing fancy going on here. It's the only thing I do record with. So I can't, I don't know if there's a way to show you. Can I do that? No, I can't. I can't really show you what it looks like, but it, this is what I record and edit with. That is the key. I don't edit with iMovie or Final Cut. I only edit and record with ScreenFlow. It has a built-in recording software and for those of you who want a tutorial i've done five screenflow tutorials in the past and i'll link that in the description as well so that'll teach you everything you need to know about screenflow how to export how to edit how to do the basics so if you're on a mac then that is the program i would recommend don't use like anything else unless for some reason screenflow doesn't work but i have never found an alternative to screenflow that is better so screenflow is the best program for mac hands down so now I've showed you what I've recorded with on both systems, my Mac and my PC. I've also showed you what I've edited with on my Mac. Now I'm going to go back to the PC and show you what I edit with and what I use to encode and stuff like that. So I'll be right back, guys. We'll be back on the PC side. All right, guys, we're back on my PC. So I want to show you what I edit with and, you know, encode or export with. So to edit, I always use Adobe Premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and hopefully it'll, you know, work on here. So opening this up, I'm going to go ahead and open up my YouTube project and it's on my other display. Just ignore that. So let's just say, you know, this is my this is my upcoming video of PC versus console and I'm not done with it yet, but hey, it, it's it's coming along. So this is what, you know, what it looks like. I just edit on here and you know, I don't know if you guys can see it all properly because I'm using OBS and it, it kind of throws it off but yeah I mean there you go now it now it's working so that this is what I edit with every single video that I make except for my tough in the Minecraft videos or any video that I record with on OBS the great thing is all the editing is done live so if I bring this over here you can see that I have all of my let me get this out of the way. You can see that I have all of my things here. So I have my, this is my poll question, my, I have my face cam here. And this is my, you know, number one. This is my end poll, which there's nothing here. But this is my solo, solo game. My poll results, where there would be poll results here. And, you know, my face cam, which is just my face cam. And then my full scene, like normal, where there's nothing here now. But, and then just a black screen that I used to fade in. So that's pretty much it for this one. So let me get back to the solo game. You don't want to see me. And, yeah, I didn't so to switch between them all I have to do is use my you know number pad here and that's how I edit live and I really like that because you know I don't have to to worry about you know exporting the video later and because I do it at 1080p redoing re-putting the video so I would take the video file which you know would be saved normally saved here get out of the way so I go to my Windows storage my YouTube stuff open broadcast you know what is fraps doing here open broadcaster software oopsies Open Broadcaster Software, and there's my videos. So here we go. I just recorded the video. It's actually Tough in the Minecraft, and that's it. It's done. There's nothing I have to do. It's already created, done, edited, upload that to YouTube. Well, actually, I use uh, MP4 Fast Start, which I put this in, and you know, you open the folder, you go to you know the file that it saved to. You got a computer, and then Windows Storage, YouTube stuff, open Broadcaster, open that folder, take this, you press make fast start, and this will make it so the video will process on YouTube as it's uploading, instead of where it will upload and then process, which takes a lot longer. So you just do this real quick, and then it will make the video be up, published to YouTube faster. Not upload faster, but be published faster. So that's what I use. Let's go ahead and show you my export settings. So say I'm done with this video, although clearly it's not done but what I do is I go to file and export media and this is with CS6 so what you do is you go to format YouTube or h.264 and then preset you just start typing in Y and it will take you down to the YouTube part and I use YouTube 1080p 29.97 FPS that is my export settings you press export and it will go ahead and export and that's the file that I upload to YouTube 
if that makes any sense. But that is all of the programs that I use. Oh, one more thing. I use this on only my PC, and this is for voiceovers only. I use Audacity, and Audacity is awesome because it's free and it works really well. So I can just go in here, I can record my voice, and you know it should just work. Blah blah blah. I go in and I go file, I export, and I leave it as WAV. I name it whatever. Whoa, and then go ahead and press OK, and there it is. I can just put this into. I don't. I never save it. I put this into Premiere. And that's how I get these voiceovers. So that's how all these voiceovers are done in Audacity. So it's it's pretty easy. That's all the programs I use. So then all I have to do is put this in here, put it in my, my clips, and let that process. And I put it in. So there you go. Then that's my commentary. That's how I make my commentaries. And it's pretty straightforward, guys. I hope I hope this video helped you out finding the best programs to use i highly recommend adobe premiere pro over sony vegas i feel like this is a pro editing thing instead of sony vegas i feel like people are using it because it's what people have been using it's like they don't want to switch to this program even though i feel it's superior i know there may be some people that are like eh, but i mean this is what i use so i find it's the best i i would be using I mean, I, I like to use the programs that are the best for the jobs that I'm doing. So for me making, you know, YouTube videos, I like, you know, Adobe Premiere because it has YouTube presets. It, it, it renders in real time and I, I just really like it. So that's that. I hope this really helps you out, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope you, you learned something about, you know, recording and stuff. And yeah, peace out, guys. Bye.